We are going to go ahead and get started, if everyone wants to find a seat. All right. Thank you all for coming to day two. I hope everyone enjoyed day one. Those of you who attended yesterday, um, I'm Molly Moravac, uh, reproductive endocrinologist from the University of Michigan, one of your co-chairs, here with Julie Rios. <laughs> I am Julie Rios. I'm also co-chair here at the University of Pittsburgh. Um, just a quick intro and um, some thank yous. Um, so obviously, thank you to our wonderful host, uh, McGee Womans. Um, they set up all of um, uh, our accommodations, the reception last night, um, everything behind the scenes uh, that is making this run as seamlessly as it is. Um, thank you to our sponsors. I'm going to um, cycle through those. Henry Ford Health, um, Faring, again, McGee Women's Hospital, Reprotec, um, UPMC, UC Health, UPMC, McGee Women's, sorry, UPMC Children's, and ASRM. Um, we are really excited to have over 200 registrants to this meeting, coming from over six continents, um, which I think really speaks to the global reach of the Oncofertility Consortium. Um, I want to give a personal thank you to the program committee um, who helped <clears throat> select the speakers and the topics uh, for this year, um, all focusing around debates and dilemmas in oncofertility care that we're all facing in our practice. Um, we have a slate of invited speakers, including a lot of the program committee and then the people you see uh, pictured here um, over the next two days, and again, coming from all over the world to tell you what they're doing um, in their home institutions. Um, thank you to the local organizing committee. That's back um, to the people who are making this look like it's running so seamlessly, I'm sure, on their side. Uh, they are working a lot harder than we realize. Um, thank you to the volunteers uh, who you're going to see in the mornings um, and last evening. Um, thank you to the group on Sunday that did the special uh, trip to Dr. Um, Orwig's lab to do um, tissue processing and freezing. I heard that people really enjoyed that. I can't remember, I'm turning over to you, but okay. yeah. Congratulations to our oral abstract winners. We're excited to hear your presentations uh, later in the conference. And we want to thank Encore for providing all the video support um, and technology for the conference. Um, if you guys do need the Wi-Fi, please note this slide. Um, this is what you'll put into West End Conference. If you do take any pictures and share them on social media, please use our hashtag. And um, also, video recording of the conference will be available. It's free to every registrant. It'll be $200 for any non-registrant. Um, and then necessary things, uh, bathrooms are located um, outside the doors to your left. For any questions, please check the registration front desk and information desk. And then posters can begin set up on um, today, November 7th, and during the break or lunch, and they must be taken down by November 8th at 1 p.m. And check your registration uh, for your number. And save the date for our upcoming summit next year for McGee Women's. And we are going to get started. So I would like to um, introduce Michael Anakin. He's the um, CEO of uh, the McGee Women's Research Institute and um, a great uh, colleague of mine, Michael. Yep. Good morning. Oh, we gotta do that again. Good morning. It's Tuesday, it's not Monday, right? So, uh, First of all, thanks for coming. I'm Mike Anakin. I'm the CEO of McGee Women's Research Institute and Foundation. On behalf of myself, Dr. Rich Beggy, the president of McGee Women's Hospital, and Diane Hupp, the president of Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh, we're delighted to welcome you to Pittsburgh for the 15th annual Onco Fertility Conference. Um, we really appreciate the opportunity to host this conference, and a special thank you to Kyle and his team for stepping up again the second year. And Thrilled to see that we've got representation from six continents. So I hope that you all are enjoying your time in Pittsburgh. Um, you've traveled from around the globe, and I know this conference is really about discovering the future of reproductive medicine while still talking about how we can help patients navigate their fertility preservation and fertility restoration journeys. McGee Women's Research Institute and Foundation is proud to support this extraordinary conference and this extraordinary group of leaders. Because of your work, we're doing a better job talking to patients about their fertility needs and risks and providing hope for all patients. Come on in, come on in. We'll pause for a second and let you 
come on in and take seats. I know it's a slow starting in the morning sometimes. I'm the same way. But once I get going, I get going. So I'm here to tell you that Pittsburgh is a life science hub and McGee is committed to translating basic discoveries into clinical practice. I know that's the exact spirit of this conference and we're happy to be part of such a collaborative and multi multidisciplinary group of leaders. You guys are the champions, the people who help families navigate complex fertility issues during the compressed and stressful time between devastating diagnosis and life-saving treatment, and that's not easy. So we want to say thank you to you for the work that you do. Um, it's really special that we can host this here in Pittsburgh, and we have such a strong commitment to the onco-fertility community. You provide and coordinate state-of-the-art fertility preservation and fertility respiration care not only for today's patients, but you're then developing future generations of fertility preservation for patients of the future. And we want to thank you for doing that. And then for coming here to share your thoughts, your work with the rest of the group so that we can accelerate the pace of discovery together. So thank you for doing that. I hope you're enjoying your time in Pittsburgh. I know it's gonna be a great conference. I know, to, I know yesterday was exciting already. I was talking to some people this morning. I know you've got a great agenda for both today and tomorrow. Uh, so I just can't wait till next year where you guys can tell me about some of the discoveries and how we're translating the discoveries into better patient care and better fertility outcomes. So I want to thank you and I'll leave it uh, to you to take it from here. Thank you.